Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and BAM! I have a new knife for you, oh yeah! This is the next blade in my production line. This is called the Bush Buddy. I don't care if you don't like the name, that's what I'm calling it. It sounded cool. <laughs> um, this bad boy is sporting a thousand grit hand rubbed finish. I don't know if you guys can see the natural hammond coming through. I know there's a lot of glare from the lighting up above. But it's got unidirectional carbon fiber that's nice and shiny. It looks really cool outside in the natural light. I've got red liners. That's my new maker's mark. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, full credit goes to 556 Graphics over on Instagram for helping me design that logo a few months back. It was a tremendous help. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I wanted to put some really cool aggressive jimping, but not really um, annoy the user and operator when you have it in hand. So you're going to have a good um, good take on that. The rest of it, however, um, has a 90 degree spine. So if you needed to use this in a survival situation, you can strike sparks here in the choil or on the other part of the spine. And my suggestion is the choil because it's the most, it's the easiest to have more control over it. I used uh, brass pins in the securing of the handle, and it's really nice and lightweight. Um, it's 3 16 of an inch thick. Let me get a nice close up shot for you guys. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. Thing is party. And did I mention it's sharp? Well, at any rate, um, this blade will be available later on this week on my Etsy store. And the base price model um, with the black G10 handles and liners and everything will go for about, I would say, between $150, $160 for the retail price. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not the base model. Far, 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 far from it. Um, this um, sporting the F40 carbon fiber. And the 1,000 grit hand rub finish, this is going to be significantly more expensive because of the hours upon hours of work that I have to put into getting the blade finish exactly how I want it, nice and shiny. And um, if you're going to use this in an outdoor situation, I don't suggest getting a 1,000 grit hand rub finish. I just kind of wanted to show this off as an advertisement piece for any of the fixed blade knife collectors out there. This is potentially what you can get um, per request. Uh, this is not something that comes standard. This is a, like a special request. You have to email me directly and ask for this particular style. Now the Kydex sheath fits in really, really well. It is designed for a mini tech lock. I don't have one on there at this time because for me, this is an advertisement piece um, for my business, but um, this will end up being my EDC blade. But I have a new design coming out. It's going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be about here. And it's going to be called the DFS Tanto. And it's going to be a hybrid mashup between a drop point, a Tanto, and also an American Tanto, and also a traditional Tanto from way, way back when. Um, when they weren't, you know, just that false, that false edge right there. Or the false tip. So it's going to be a nice little mashup to kind of... Um, put a hopefully different take on a really really popular design but I um, hope you guys enjoyed this this will be available on my Etsy shop if you have any questions please hit me up on Facebook or Instagram via private or direct message and all inquiries will be taken up but like I said this will be available in my store later this week I hope you guys have a fantastic day I'm out